Abraham and Sarah wanted a child for many, many years, but they were never able to have one. God promised Abraham that he would give him a son with Sarah. Even though he was already 75 years old and Sarah was 65, he believed God and trusted him to do what he said he would do. God did not do what he had promised right away. For 25 more years, Abraham trusted God, went where he called him to go, and lived life, waiting for the promise to be fulfilled. Along the way, God let Abraham know that he had great plans for his children yet to come. He would use them to bless the whole world, and one day one of his descendants would bring God's blessings to every nation on earth, to every family and tribe. They could hardly believe it. But when Abraham was a hundred years old and Sarah was 90, they gave birth to their son. They were so overjoyed, they named him Isaac, which means laughter. This is what Sarah had to say about it. God has brought me laughter. All who hear about this will laugh with me. Who would have said to Abraham that Sarah would nurse a baby? Yet I have given Abraham a son in his old age. When it seemed impossible that God could do the good thing he had promised, God came through. And he kept the promise, not only to give them a son, but also to increase their descendants until they became a nation, Israel. And God worked with Israel through the centuries to tell us about himself and about his great plan to rescue the world from sin and death. That plan culminated in Jesus, the promised descendant of Abraham, who would bring God's blessings to the whole world. God himself became a man, walked among us, lived a perfect, sinless life, and gave himself up willingly on the cross to take upon himself the punishment we all deserve for our many sins. He rose victorious over the grave and now offers to everyone forgiveness of sins and a new life that will never end. He promises one day to raise up those who have trusted in him just as he himself rose from the grave. Are you willing to trust God, to believe what he has promised, even if it seems impossible, too good to be true? Will you let God fill your life with joy? Trust in Jesus, and he will bring the blessings of God to you as well. If you would like to read the story of Abraham and Sarah and the birth of Isaac, you can find it in Genesis chapter 17, in chapter 18, verses 1 through 15, and in chapter 21, verses 1 through 7.